How's it going, everyone? Welcome back. We're here for another episode of Forgotten Hand. So let's get into it. Supposed to run like this. Gotcha. There you go. Now on the sport. It was a perfect day for the rocking horse derby, and the cream of the public society was there to watch the race. Let's listen to the results recorded earlier today at the Cosmic Town. It's purple Pegasus around the first corner with anti fire right on her tail. Here comes Carousel Queen, followed by the Hogan <coughs> There is a straight away, Sam Maggie to the Tiki Fire. She's passing Pegasus into the final stretch. It's Mahogany Maggie in the lead and across the finish line. Unbelievable! There you have it, Forgotten folks. And that concludes sports for today. This is Forgotten News of the Week. Sources close to Master Valku have let slip that construction of the Ether Bridge is nearly finished, bringing the dream of returning to the Ether and our original human owners one step closer to reality. <laughs> to date, only about 100 validated forgotlings have been promised a ticket across the bridge as a reward for their loyalty to Master Valku. So get out there and prove you've got what it takes. Who knows? Maybe Master Bonku will select you to join the lucky few. The rebels struck again this week, detonating two bombs in the city. Their target? The anima transfer pump by the central station. The rebels did try to breach the tower graph. You will not believe it! The enforcer just walked into the studio. Yes, you heard right! This is not a test! Hello, madam. Welcome to the show. This is certainly a surprise of a very exquisite kind. We're all dying to know. With the last segment under construction, tell me, will the Ether Bridge be completed in the near future? Yes. Mighty good, mighty good indeed. We all look forward to going home. Tell me, what is the first thing you are going to do once you're back in the Ether? I... I can't believe it! The Enforcer, in her own words! And folks, it's right here on Realm Radio, like you'd ever tune in anywhere else. Just one more question. I know you're busy, so I'll make it quick. I just have to ask the question that's on everyone's mind at the moment. What's it like to soar on those wings of yours? I like the feeling of freedom. There you have it, folks! Freedom! I won't take any more of your time, madam. Wow, what a treat, tough folks! The Enforcer in person. You're listening to Realm Radio here on RC 202020. In case you just tuned in, you're going to be sorry. You missed the Enforcer live in the studio with yours truly. And what do you think she had to say about the recent tightening of security in town? I like the feeling... You speak the truth, Madam Enforcer. You indeed speak the truth. Such tireless effort she puts into keeping us all safe. Compassion deep in her eyes, I can tell you that. Wasn't I right? You're sorry you missed it, aren't you?
damn it. Interesting. Done, big. I don't want things done that way. I didn't complain about this place under your leadership, but now I'm in charge. I... We both know where this conversation ends. You're digging your own grave, big. I'm gonna get it. What play are you here to see? I don't understand. <clears throat> what play are you here to see? I'm here to see Fig. Fig? I don't recognize that title. Try again. Hmm. Zero. Nine.
Othello. Okay. Let's see, we're gonna try the number first. It was... So then, okay. Enjoy the show. I'll handle this. Go about your business. Enforcer, over here, please. May I ask what you're doing in a place like this? I'm looking for a forgotling. Well, you found one. Funny. Does the name Mr. Fig mean anything to you? Nope. But I was never good with names. This forgotling might be dangerous and is probably a regular here. It's a popular bar. A lot of forgotlings come here. I don't ask questions, I just serve drinks. You know who I am? I sure do. So does everyone else. If you think you can throw your weight around here, think again. I don't know how you got in, and I don't care. You're welcome to look around the bar as long as you follow the house rule. Which is? Don't start a fight. Don't worry. But if I find anyone affiliated with the rebels in here, I will do what I must to catch them. I can respect that you've got a job to do, even if I find it distasteful. But I also expect you to return the courtesy and not trash my bar. All right. Then. I'm him. Me too. Sorry to interrupt, but I'm looking for a forgotling known as Mr. Fig or just Fig. Have you seen him? Hey, I'm asking you a question, forgotlings. Do you know where I can find Mr. Fig? I'm looking for a forgotten known as Mr. Fig. Shh. Oh, 
Oh, now what? Check it in. Now we'll never know what happens. Guess that was it for tonight. It's probably the projector. No, piece of it. Rubbish. Hey, I heard that. supposed to do something. I'm looking for a forgotling who goes by the name Mr. Fig. Does that ring a bell? Don't know what you're talking about. You shouldn't be here. Don't know anyone called Fig, and you don't belong in these parts, little hawk. Darius, and you're the enforcer. Wow, you see everything, don't you? Someone's looking for you. Who? He's right here in the bar. And? You're not looking in his direction. I'm looking at you. Tell me where he is. How does it feel, never having seen it? Seen what? The ether. Everybody's been there, except you. I'm a human. I was born there. Right, you are. Of course. My mistake. When I don't get my anima, I start rambling. If only I could get a drink. Alas, the bartender has cut me off. It's a big misunderstanding, really. I know how it sounds, but... If I get you a drink, you'll tell me where Pig is. Oh, yes. And a lot more. Let's just keep it to that. I'm willing to overlook your obvious abuse of anima if you tell me where Mr. Fig is. Mr. Fig? Figs? They're like vegetables. No, 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 they grow on trees. I'm hungry. Why do we even eat? We're things. I don't know. We'll drink. I want a drink. <laughs> totally. Later. Later. This is hopeless. That lever over there. What does it do? It takes us up. We used to be a lad upstairs. Yeah. But the forgotlings at the bar up there couldn't handle the amount of truth we proclaimed. But it's all good. We like it down here at the bottom of everything, as we like to call it. It's back on! Oh, it's back on, everyone! Turn invisible.
Just gonna have to go out and go back in. Hopefully, I, I haven't lost too much progress. I'll handle this. Go about your business. Enforcer, over here, please. May I ask what you're doing in a place like this? I'm looking for a forgotling. Well, you found one. Funny. Does the name Mr. Fig mean anything to you? Nope. But I was never good with names. This forgotling might be dangerous and is probably a regular here. It's a popular bar. A lot of forgotlings come here. I don't ask questions, I just serve drinks. You know who I am? I sure do. So does everyone else. If you think you can throw your weight around here, think again. I don't know how you got in, and I don't care. You're welcome to look around the bar as long as you follow the house rule. Which is? Don't start a fight. Don't worry. But if I find anyone affiliated with the rebels in here, I will do what I must to catch them. I can respect that you've got a job to do, even if I find it distasteful. But I also expect you to return the courtesy of not trash my bar. Okay. Dealer's choice now. We play Southern Cross. I call. You would. It'll get you nowhere. Obvious abuse of anima. If 
you tell me where Mr. Fig is? Mr. Fig? Figs? They're like vegetables. No, 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 they grow on trees. I'm hungry. Why do we even eat? We're things. I don't know. Or drink. I want a drink. <laughs> totally. Later. Later. This is hopeless. That lever over there. What does it do? He takes us up. We used to be a lad upstairs. Yeah. But the forgoings at the bar up there couldn't handle the amount of truth we proclaimed. But it's all good. We like it down here at the bottom of everything, <laughs> as we like to call it. You're the enforcer. Wow, you see everything, don't you? Someone's looking for you. Who? He's right here in the bar. And? You're not looking in his direction. I'm looking at you. Tell me where he is. How does it feel, never having seen it? Seen what? The ether. Everybody's been there, except you. I'm a human. I was born there. Right, you Of course. My mistake. When I don't get my anima, I start rambling. If only I could get a drink. Alas, the bartender has cut me off. It's a big misunderstanding, really. I know how it sounds, but... If I get you a drink, you'll tell me where Fig is. Oh, yes. And a lot more. Let's just keep it to that. I call. You would. It'll get you nowhere. Enforcer, what can I get you? I'd like to get a drink for Siderius up there. Oh, Cataract sent you too, huh? Look, Siderius is a nice guy, and he only ever has one drink at night. But after that drink, I'm telling you, he starts preaching. Preaching? Yeah. Comes all philosophical. What are you doing with your life? Stuff like that. He even asks us to look through it. He's bad for business. I can't see the harm in making you forgotlings think a bit more. Forgotlings come here to forget they're forgotten. Not to get lectured about how they're not applying themselves. I'll make sure he doesn't give any lectures tonight. He tells me that I'm empty inside. Well, you are a refrigerator. He wants me to pursue music. Coming here putting crazy thoughts of forgotten who's who've got problems enough with the way things are. Music! Ha! Huh. Can you imagine a fridge like me hammering piano keys? So what if I like music? Barton is all I've ever known. That's the purpose I took with me from the ether. You should give yourself a chance. Nobody is forcing you to continue what you're doing now. You think so? Hmm, I'll think about it. But I'm not letting Sidarius tell me. So, no drinks for him tonight? I'll leave a drink here on the house. Who you give it to is none of my business. Dealer's choice now. 
we play Southern Cross. I managed to get a drink for you. It's down at the bar. Now tell me where Fig is. Thank you. How did you persuade Malone? Ah, I guess Master Punku is very persuasive himself. Fig. Right. Sorry. Listen carefully. Over by the movie lounge, there's a decommissioned anima pipe. That pipe leads into an office where Mr. Fig is having a meeting tonight. The pipe is quite high up, but I'm sure you can reach it. The movie lounge. Thanks. See you around. You know she's coming for you, right? She's probably on her way right now. Just do your part. I will, but I'm not staying around for this. What's that supposed to mean? You're taking an unnecessary risk. I'm done here. Hey, Bob. Okay, come on, there's a ladder right there. Thank you. Anne! How nice of you to drop in. Clever move using the pipes. I must admit, I've been looking forward to meeting you, Anne. But where are my manners? My name is Mr. Fig. I'm the Enforcer, and I'm placing you under arrest, Fig. <laughs> You've got style. But, of course, I won't let you send me to the plant, and you're not using the Ark on me either. Don't force my hand. It seems I only have a rebel's choice. So long, Anne. Try to keep up. Are you keeping up, Anne? Don't call me Anne. Another name, then. Your brutal ways have earned you many lately. How about Powerhawk, Soul Snatcher, Oppressor, the Marionette? Stop! As you wish. Since you spend so much time on Banku's shoulder, perhaps Little Hawk is more fitting. limits in life, right? There you go. Oh, 
Oh, why is he even playing? Come on, little hawk. You could do better than that. Don't call me that. Oh, how sweet. Slave not see her own chains. Stop! Ask yourself, who is Bonku? What does he need? How does he get it? You can ask him yourself very soon. You're not good with words, little hawk. Who needs words when they have the Arca? Now that's impressed even me. Perhaps there's more to you than I thought. Now you almost have me. Watch your step, little hawk. Show me off to Bonku, like a child with a drawing. Words won't change, but you attacked validated and forgotten. I'll admit, there is a risk of casualties. It keeps me up at night. I was actually not in favor of this approach. It did finally get your attention, though. How noble. We only target machinery. How many forgotten lives did you take on your way here? That's irrelevant. It always is. You almost destroyed a segment of the Ether Bridge. We'd never get home. This is your home. Have you ever lived anywhere else? Stop talking! Are you coming, man?
Hello. Oh, good.
get up there without wings. <laughs> That's too fast. I don't...
think that's where it just was. Okay. I see now. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. But there are still plenty of obstacles in my way. Trust you. Down here. Suppresses innocent forgotlings. I give you the enforcer. What in the realm are you doing, Bob? What do you think this is? A witch hunt? The enforcer is on trial for her multitude of crimes against forgotlings. Does the enforcer have counsel? If not, I'll speak on her behalf. Whatever you're trying to do, stop it and get me out of here. I want to hear what she has to say. Fine. You speak for the girl. I assume we can agree that we need to remove the Arca from her hand. Then we need to... No. Are you suggesting we let her keep the Arca? I am. You'd let her walk around with a weapon capable of distilling us all. Think of everything she's done to us. Yeah! What has she done, exactly? Where should I start? She is Mongo in its assault on the realm. She distills the goblins at her pleasure. She treats us like things, and she assumes everyone wants to return to the end. You rebels have no idea what you're doing, or what's at stake. Tell me, Anne, do you understand what the ether is? What is this home you talk about? We all came from the ether, and that's where we should return. Why? What? We belong in the real world, with the humans. We were taken from our home and forgotten. Do you have memories of your home? I... I remember. Or perhaps you remember the stories Banku told you. 
What does Paul look like? What are humans like? Have you ever seen a sunset? What does ice cream feel like on your tongue? I, I thought you wanted to speak on my behalf. You're evading the subject, Vic. The enforcer is a threat. Her actions speak for themselves. Let me refresh your memory. You all remember Dilly. Brave, loyal Dilly. The enforcer distilled him. She didn't have to. She enjoyed it. Make no mistake about that. That gauntlet broke into my home. And now you are in our home. Remember when Station Master Pax helped us escape on the train at Tower Ground Station? The Enforcer could have distilled him when she pursued us, but didn't. Leaving rebels at the station. Not very smart, Enforcer. And what about Heelto? He was the most skilled mission planner we've ever had, and she tortured him. But did she distill him? Have you spoken to him after he got back? He'll never be the same again. Remember how she manipulated that neighborhood into setting up a mirror in the streets? She actually made them believe it was for their own good. Well played, Enforcer. Fear, isn't that your strongest weapon? It's no stranger to you either, I see. How dare you talk to me like that? That's right, keep pushing your lies. I'm not dignifying that with the response. But of course you're not. I'd say she outsmarted us in scrappers, Bob. The way she stuck up on us? Ha! Regardless, it's clear that the Enforcer is a threat. We need to disarm her and use the Arca against Ponku. Yeah! Calm down! Stop it! I can't defend all of her actions, but you heard how she reacted when I asked her about the ether. She has lived here her whole life. Remember who taught her everything she knows. Bunku did. She is just as much a victim as we are. Stop it! Master Bunku is working hard for all of us. He's so dedicated to bringing us back to the ether that I hardly see him anymore. We can't hold Anne responsible for what she's done while wearing the blindfold of Bunku. The Enforcer is not as strong as you think. She's a threat, and we need to deal with her now. Yeah! Yeah! Calm down! Wait down, please! There's something you don't know about, Anne. Something none of you know. Anne is not a human being. She's a forgotten. Then why hasn't she crystallized yet? Anne and Bonku each have an archer. The Arcas keep crystallization at bay. If we take the Arca from Anne, she'll crystallize. What? What? I'd like to call in a witness. Blanket, if you please. Hello, Anne. We met on the train. So you were a rebel after all! Fig is right. You're forgotten just like us. You're a forgotling. What? I've known you my whole life, Anne. We arrived in the realm together when you were a baby. I was the blanket you were wrapped in. Do you know where I'm from? Do you know who my mother is? Nonsense! Think about what the Arca can do for us. So what if the Enforcer crystallizes? It's about time she gets a dose of her own medicine. We need to distill the Enforcer, and we need to do it now. Justice! Yeah! If you all feel that removing her Arca will make you feel safe, then we remove her Arca. However, no one is getting distilled under my leadership. I want her to at least crystallize peacefully. Perfect! If anyone wishes to shelter this freak while she's crystallizing, speak up! That's what I thought. Now, go get that Arca! Yeah! Leave me alone! Stop it! Get away! I'll distill you! Keep up! No!
Did you sleep well? It hurts. I know, dear. And you... Do you know what happened to me? Why am I here? Shh. We'll have time to talk about that later. Without the Arca, I'll... I'll... Well, not instantly, dear. Crystallization comes to all of us. For now, you should try to relax. Alright, well, with that revelation under our belt, I think I am going to call it for this episode. You guys have a wonderful day, and uh, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, definitely uh, feel free to subscribe, give us a comment, anything like that. Until next time, talk at you later.